My name is Nikhila Kennel, and I am an artist living in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, for a multitude of reasons, I have not really been outside a whole lot lately. I've been kind of just stuck in my little apartment here, my little safety bubble. And part of that's just because it is in fact a hellscape outside, and I get burned to lie the moment I step outside that door. The second part I think is pretty obvious. Now, as I've been stuck inside, I've been going around and decorating my apartment, which has been really fun. It's been going really well, but there's just been just this one trouble spot and it's driving me crazy. So I figured that I'd make a giant painting to go there. And when I say giant, it doesn't sound giant, but it's like four feet by three feet, which is the largest painting I've ever done. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited about it. That's what I've got going on today. All right. So when you are starting off a painting of this magnitude, if you will, you do want to measure out the space. If you can ever get that measuring tape off of your belt loop. All right, there we go. So I actually didn't make this canvas for this particular purpose. Um, I pretty much just made it because all the craft stores like sell them for like 50 bucks. And I was like, nah, fam, we're going to go ahead and just do this my way. Honestly, just buy it. It takes so long to make them. <laughs> Here it is in all its glory. Look how cute it is. There it is. All right. So uh, it's pretty much Sharpie on there. Um, whoop, uh, uh. And you can see me carefully picking out my paintings. Um, the reason I like to use Sharpie is because although it can show underneath the lighter colored paint that you have, the good thing about it is it doesn't mix with the paint. Like, say if you wanted to use charcoal or something, you do have to seal that before you paint it up, which I just find to be a drag. Might as well just use a marker, right? As you can see, that's the green. I'm going to be using that throughout, so it's kind of mixed in with all my other paints that I use for this project. As you can see here, I'm kind of mixing as I go. That's really uh, not the best way to do it, but you know, it's a way to do it.
Here I am, getting back in the painting mood. Don't need that. That's the one. Actually, I do think I actually need that painting after this. So, in the middle of painting, I totally remembered that I forgot to call my grandma yesterday and I was feeling super guilty, so that's why that's happening. You're probably going to see me yelling into the phone a little bit during this. She, uh, she doesn't know how to turn the uh, volume up on her phone. Or she might be having issues with her hearing aid. It's hard to tell when she's like that far away. So I called her. Yeah, there I am, yelling at my phone. My neighbors just love me. We have paper thin walls, they can hear everything I'm saying right there. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, that's, that's the look of a person who's done painting for the day. I'm totally gonna take a nap right after that. Like, look at me. Yeah, that's a person about to nap. There's a costume change. <laughs> you know, usually I like pump Spice, but for whatever reason, I really hated that one. Come on. Get your coffee together. Brand named coffee place that I can't talk about on here, I don't think. I don't know what the rules are for this yet. I just started. So one of the things that's nice about painting is if you discover that you absolutely hate a color, you can change it. And that's what you're going to see me doing here. I'm going to be adding a little bit more green, which uh, really ties it in with the rest of the painting because it was really jarring when I first put it on there. This actually was used with another really uh, sort of nice sort of blue cotton paint. Um, I did tone it down just a little bit, but it came out really pretty. So you can, 
I actually like this because uh, my phone is the same color as the uh, tent and the sun here, and I love it. You can tell how much I love orange. It's my color right now. What's it going to be next week? Probably pink. So while I was doing the mouse, they kind of looked a little too simplistic for the area that I had mapped out for them. So I did go ahead and just add some details that were previously undetailed. See, I'm lucky here because my fiance really is good at making sure things are level. I'm really bad at it. And there were already holes in the wall from a previous painting we had had there. Uh, not one I painted, which is why I wanted to put my own here. Because I'm an artist. What, what am I doing if I'm not putting my own stuff up? And here is the big reveal. And she's done. So as you can tell, I did add a little bit more shading in certain areas. Um, I also toned down the paint just a little bit, and that was just a whitewash. So you just mix some white paint with some water, throw that bad boy on there, and there you have it. Uh, it turned out really well, fits this space perfectly. So if you'd like to watch me paint this giant painting, please like and subscribe. I have an awesome idea for my cat coming up next week. So no, hit that bell icon and I will see you then. Bye-bye.